ready for the future of Street Fighter. Let me hear it. I'm ready for the future of Street Fighter. I'm ready for the show that you can we just the f play the trailer. Hey, everybody! <laughs> Do you want information? Do you want information? I want information! Do you, I Do want you it! For Street Fighter! <laughs> all right, I'm pretty hyped, all right? I gotta give it to him. I'm pretty hyped. <laughs> all right, geez, we've been waiting a while for this. Woo, it's been a couple months. Hell yeah! Oh, she is Bushin Ryu. Okay. Damn, she just straight has. Oh, shit. She's just new age guy. Guy and Ziku for a new age. Oh, my God. Fuck. What? You get a combo after? Okay. Oh my god, she's badass. Wow, dude. Holy shit, she's super sick. Uh, and yeah. I think we saw this one from a mile away. What is this intro? And the and the chat loses it. <laughs> and the chat loses it. Holy fuck this stage. You gonna keep me waiting, guys? Oh my god. Okay. Got pretty similar stuff to Street Fighter V. Good God, man. They went 9,000% on crazy goth chick, like even more than before. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow. And then she goes to Twitter to shit post. They definitely got jury right. Nailed it. They nailed her. 100%. They got Jury's essence, right? At the end, she goes to Twitter to shit post. Oh, perfect. Oh, got it. Then there's no, there's my. no doubt. Dude, I think I was actually even more impressed by Kimberly. I'm not going to lie. I think Jury looks really good. But I think Kimberly looks fucking awesome. I think Kimberly looks fun as hell to play. Whew. We're going to have to check out the 4K trailers. Checking the press site. We're praying to God, chat. We're praying to God. I might pull a 4K trailer out of my ass. Nope, last update, 722. <gasps> Dude, I, yeah, I just realized she literally did the Akira slide, right? This chick entered the scene with the Kaneda slide. Here we go, let's watch this in a beautiful 4K. Ah! Is it in 4K on the PlayStation channel? PS is 4K. <laughs> Everybody's got a link but me? Fuck! Twitter is not functional right now. Do you know who I follow on Twitter? Don't worry about it, I found it. 4K? No, no, no. Turn that off. So she is. Yeah, she's just the modern day take on Bushin Ryu. Dude, I'm really liking the um, the personalities of some of these characters, right? What the hell was that? Dude, the fact that you get a fucking combo after, after like air grab. Oh. Did the classic guy super. It's like the classic Street Fighter 4 guy super. Oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. I'm going back. Wait, wait, wait. His ass is covered in... He can't see shit. This dude cannot see shit. All 
All right. Yeah, I think uh, I think Kimberly. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Let me watch the jury's part again. Time to play. She looks very much like her Street Fighter V version gameplay wise. And man, that, that her costume looks like it's straight out of Street Fighter 4. A reference back to her Street Fighter 4 super. Such a lovely face. Yeah, dude, the new the new faces and the facial expressions, she looks psychotic, right? Which is what she's always been. Like, god damn, it looks so good. There's a PlayStation blog on it. Hold on a second. Jeez, this official character art though. Holy crap. Oh, Capcom designed Kimberly and Jury for Street Fighter 6. New era is here. Oh God, screenshots. Oh God, hell yeah. Damn, she looks fucking cool. Bust out some beats and shake up the spray cans. Welcome to the newest ninja to Street Fighter 6. Kimberly invented herself uh, to become Guy's student or invited herself to become Guy's student, who's the 39th successor to the Bushin Ryu after defeating Master Zeku, the 38th successor. Kimberly has an ordinary upbringing uh, but she's a prodigy who graduated college early, so she now wants to be a full-fledged ninja. She is infa infatuated with 80s pop culture. With a portable cassette player, it was at its peak popularity, hence why she always carries one with her. Uh, in terms of Kimberly's design, we aim to create an outfit suitable for her speedy and acrobatic movements since she expels at sports and track and field and cheerleading. Pair her brightly colored gi with the sneakers and suitable moving quickly. You have Bishin Ryu-like ninja attire, don't you think? We try to make her hairstyle and outfit be beautifully showcased her striking silhouette since she's an expert at running and airborne attacks. The spray can and portable cassette player on her waist are used for special moves. I wonder if she's going to be limited on usability for spray cans. Uh, the music she listens to uh, originates from a certain person, but you'll have to wait for the story to find out who that is. It's Ken's failed rap career. Uh, let's see the Kimberly Ninja Plus Pop Star uh, performs. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my God, her walk cycle. Okay, so she's got Guy Run into her back walk. What the hell? Oh, my God. So much personality. Okay, she's got Run to Command Grab. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh my, what the? All right. All right, you got me, game. If I didn't think the character already looked cool, she's now got traps and shit. Uh, wow. Wow. Dude, that, that shit all looks amazing. That was not in the trailer. According to Nakayama, Kimberly's arsenal techniques make use of her high physical strength and allows her to open up opponents in various ways. Uh, as a spunky new ninja, Kimberly incorporates an urban twist to reimagine what Bushin Ryu means to her. She uses genius at play to stock up on spray cans. Oh, shit. So she gets spray cans like they're kunai, right? From uh, like a Buki has from Street Fighter V. They get thrown to the ground as a shuriken bomb. During hidden variable, Kimberly conceals herself in colorful smoke before instantly appearing in front of an opponent for a surprise attack. Finally, she has a trademark ninja sprint, which can be followed up with kick options or arc step, where she Kimberly launches herself uh, off from the opponent. Interesting. Holy God. Ari Engine is doing some fucking work. Diana ah, certainly is. Wow, this official character art. There's a Black Widow hidden in here somewhere. I think she's right there. Uh, first appearing in Super Street Fighter 4, Joy remains a sadistic thrill seeker who enjoys the suffering of others, taking immense joy and obliterating her foes. Damn, Chad, they're just like you. Previously, her main motivator was revenge against Bison, but since his fall in five, she now whittles away her time in a gloomy haze, shitposting on Twitter. Uh, what lies in store for her now? From Nakayama, uh, for Jury, this costume remains the image from her Super Street Fighter 4 one. I was about to say, this looks a lot like her old SF4 costume. But she has rearranged to fit the Street Fighter 6 aesthetic. There was also a change in the hairstyle, which I think gives extra personality. She doesn't have the huge, like, Rita Repulsa things, you know? She doesn't have those anymore. Underneath her jacket, black tape that imitates the appearance of a spider covers her body. The colors of her Feng Shui engine are purple, black, and white, which accent the emerald green. Please pay attention to her helmet, as you may have seen in the trailer when she appears on her motorcycle. Since it matches her design, her smartphone also reflects her personality and style, don't you think? Hilarious. Go back to the start. What the hell's going on with her gameplay? Okay. So she has like the ground fireball thing still. And seemingly, yes, she has she has the leg buff, right? Where she gets amped specials. 
Dude, her fucking walk anim- the, the character's walk animations in this game are crazy. Fans of Jury will be wickedly pleased to know that she retains most, uh, no more fireballs? What? Well, let me read. Uh, she retains most of her past moves with different properties now. Uh, Fuha Jin remains where Jury performs an upwards kick and stores Fuha stocks upon completion. Um, these things and this thing are newly named special moves and may be visually different, uh, may be visually familiar in the form of a low projectile jumping axe kick. While these can now be performed without having to expend Fuha stocks, they can be chained together and a powerful, powered up Fuha stock is available. Okay. Finally, uh, Jury's flying dive kick returns to Super Street Fighter 4, which can be followed up with a series of flashy airborne kicks that opens up more creative options for Jury's playstyle and can catch an opponent off guard. Nice. I just realized no announcement of anything else beta wise or no release date for Street Fighter 6 yet. Later, for every Evil 22 announcements, read to have Kimberly and Jury become their new unique personalities for the character roster while James Chen and Tasty Steve add their voices to Street Fighter 6. We'll see you later in the year for our next reveals. Any guesses? Later in the year, so I'm assuming that is. I don't know if anything would be at Gamescom, but I think there's a high likelihood that. TGS will have some shit, right? So the Game Awards should be relatively big. Uh, I would assume that there would be an announcement of some kind there, you know? Also, state of play stuff, yeah. There could be just like a uh, mysterious state of play that happens at some point. There is a Capcom Cup this year as well, yeah. They'll probably announce a new character and an old character. It's either gonna be like Cammy or Ken or something, you know? I hope they don't wait too long to show off Ken. I wanna hear about Ken's divorce and where the kids are.